Hey guys, Papa Smurphy here, gonna walk you through a couple of the tips and tricks for IITC Mobile. When you've, uh, if you've never downloaded IITC, the best thing to do is uh, open up your browser and then you want to go out to Google. Let's say you opened up Google, right? You go to your address screen and just type in IITC. Okay, it should come up with this link right here. All right, that link right there you want to click on. And then what you want to do is you want to scroll on down. And of course you want to select mobile. And then you want to scroll on down again. And scroll and scroll. Well, sorry, downloads, mobile. And scroll down and then known issues blah 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 click the download when the download starts you'll have to pull your screen down like this and it'll say download complete right here and then you click on it and it's going to ask you um, obviously for your screen um, uh, not that one but hold on let me do it again download complete click on it okay install blocked some phones have unknown sources so you want to click on your settings and then here where it says unknown sources you want to just quickly turn that off and then just click OK for unknown sources okay and then click install new and then install All right, install All right, so once you've installed it, then um, it'll be in your apps. It'll be over in your apps there. So you want to, you know, press and hold it, move it out to your desktop, which I've done right there already, but I'm just going to click up here, remove it. So the first time you've opened up IITC, first thing you're going to notice is that it's going to come up here, and you're going to see a whole bunch of lines and links these are your standard IITC stuff so one thing you want to do is the three little dots in the upper right hand corner you want to click on those and you want to click on settings okay one thing I like to do is display my location on a map um, show user position on the map um, next thing you want to do is you want to go down to IITC plugins okay you want to click there all right, and then don't show this again. All right, um, first thing, controls. You want to go to bookmarks for maps and portals. Um, yep, that's it for that. Hit your back button there. Um, debug, really nothing there. Um, highlighter. Um, highlight uh, portals by level color. I like that one. Um, also, uh, let's see. Nope, that's it for that one. Info. Um, let's see. Guest player level missions. Show localized scoreboard. Show a list of portals. Show checkpoints. Nope. Nothing I like there. Keys. Yeah, I don't do keys. Layer. Crosslinks check that one done links check that one and draw tools all three of those are very important um, also player tracker lets you uh, portal names so when you're looking at the map you'll be able to see the names without having to click on them um, yeah that's pretty much it for that one uh, let's see map tiles um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Map layers, US map, nah, da, 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 nope, nothing there. Miscellaneous, uh, put a check mark for sync and also check for updates. Um, that's usually good. Um, portal info, distance to portal. Um, nope, that's pretty much it and that's pretty much it so the main ones to really have for when doing um, fields and stuff like that 
you want to make sure under layer you have your cross links, your done links, and your draw tools. But also what's very important is under cat is um, under controls that you have bookmarks for maps and portals. You got to have that installed. Very important. All right, so I'm just going to back out and then back out again. Now it's going to reload. Okay, uh, some plugins up here in navigation for quick access. Okay. All right, so up here in the next to the three dots, you see the circle with the crosshairs. If you touch that, it's going to bring you right to your location. And then, of course, I'm just going to pinch and zoom here. Um, I'll let this load up here. Seems to be loading a little slow. There it goes. All right. So now you you see these links and fields and this and that. Um, let's say we wanted to somehow field off from this this one line here, which is going all the way over here to Port Charlotte. Okay. Let's say we wanted to link out to another portal. Um, let's highlight that portal and you touch that portal, okay, that's Slater Road Baptist Church where all those links are coming from. So you see the little star. When you touch the portal in the lower, I'll do that again, down here in the bottom where it says Slater Road Baptist and it has the white star next to it, if you touch the white star, it will turn yellow, which means you bookmark that, okay? If you untouch it, it'll turn white. Now, another way you can do it is by touching the name at the bottom, and you'll need to know this later. When you touch the star, it will save this bookmark to your portals, okay? <coughs> so now, if you scroll up, you'll see that you have auto draw bookmarks um, and draw tool ops, okay? So if you touch bookmarks, you can reset, import, and all of that. If you go to auto draw, now you have just one in here of your bookmark portals. In order to use auto draw, you must have some some portals bookmarked. So I'm going to press my back button. Okay. So let's say we want to use um, that's one of our anchors. And now we'll use, let's say, this anchor over here, Cape Coral Fire Department. We're going to use that as our anchor leg. Okay, so we have that as our anchor leg. Now I'm just going to pick random links um, straight up. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to put a star on that one. I'm going to touch that one. Put a star on that one. I'm going to touch that one. Put a star on that one. I'm going to touch that portal and put a star on that one. And I think that's pretty much. Oh, nope, we got one out here. Burnt Store Village. We'll select that one. And that'll be our final one. So I've selected and bookmarked a whole bunch of portals. All right. So now I'm going to touch down at the the burnt store village park and that once again see the orange star down at the lower left hand corner and highlighted is the level three burnt store village you touch on that and that brings up the information on the portal okay now you touch your auto draw you select and you if you read here it says clear selection after drawing and there's a check mark there if you remove that check mark now what you do is you select <coughs> excuse me you select your Slater Road Baptist Church and your Cape Coral Fire Department which are your two anchor legs okay now you select your first portal that you want to link to which is the first apostolic church and you click draw okay now I drew that first field now untouch first touch your next one diplomat click draw okay now I drew that one now unselect that one collect select Kingsway click draw all right and then Coral Lakes draw and then burnt store village and then click draw 
Now click OK. Now that you see your layers as you, as you would link them. And that is how you do your pretty fields. All right, now if you made a mistake and you didn't like that layer, there's a trash can here on the left hand side. Touch the trash can. Then just click on your layers until they go away. And like if you made a mistake, you can actually delete this and then delete that. And then click save. Okay, so now they're all gone. Okay, so if you wanted to make those layers again, once again, touch down at the bottom, click your auto draw, select your anchor legs, and then if you touch like first apostolic church, but I'm leaving the check mark in, and I'm going to show you what happens. When you click draw, they all go away. So it's kind of a big pain in the butt when you're doing multiple layers. So what you would do is take check mark out, select your two anchors, now select your second one, click draw. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, and we've done that. Now we're going to unselect it, select our next one, click draw, unselect, select draw, and then Coral Lake, burnt store, click draw. And if you accidentally hit draw again, it will draw multiple layers. <laughs> So, kind of be careful. I mean, it's not be careful. You already know that you're going to make that layer anyways. So, click OK. All right. Now, you can see you have blue layers. The blue dotted line there. That means that that line is done. Okay. The red links are the ones that are blocking you. And those will easily tell you as you're out and about and of course you see my blue circle right here in the center that's me that's my location and you would say okay I gotta go over to this portal alright and you'd be like well where is that portal with all the red lines so you click on that portal right and it says Suncoast Baptist Church so you go down here to the bottom and you click share portal when you share the portal up across the top there's share locate and Intel if you click on locate and click on maps it will now <laughs> yes I am in now it will automatically give you directions telling you that it's 11 minutes away from your location and give you <coughs> give you directions so that's I found out that's pretty cool using IITC so, um, that's about all I got for making fields. Um, another thing, if you want to quickly get rid of everything you've done, you can click on Draw Tool Ops. You can um, copy these, and you can add them to a Hangout group, okay? And it, you can select your group name, and then you can paste them um, into that group. And last but not least, when you click on Draw Tools, you can export and reset your drawn items. Delete, click OK. And then click OK, get out, and now they're all gone. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.